Uh, I, my name is Ginger Rutland. I am going to do most of the talking here because because I'm pushing. No, because my my mother cannot see you. So will everybody here, for her benefit, just say hello, hello. so she knows where you are and how many people are out there. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm Ginger Rutland. This is the author, my mother, Eva Rutland, and this is my daughter, also Eva. So it's Eva, Eva, and Ginger. Oh, why ginger, but there we go. <laughs> so I'm going to, first we're going to, my mother is a writer, and she started writing as a young mother. And originally she wrote magazine articles in the 1950s. And those magazine articles appeared in the leading ladies' magazines of the day. They were in Ladies' Home Journal, in Red Book, in Woman's Day, which was a fairly significant thing for a black woman of that day, right, 1940s, 50s, to have your articles published in these magazines. So she took all of those articles, fattened them out a bit, and she wrote this book called The Trouble With Being a Mom. When my father died in 2005, I read a portion of this book at his funeral, the part that's called, I'm going to read to you later today, it was called uh, The Trouble With Papa. And um, so many people in the audience wanted the book, and it had been out of print for many, many years. We as a family decided to republish it. This is where my daughter is going to butt in and tell me all this big mistake I made. At any rate, we changed the title. We did not. Mom changed the title. <laughs> I changed the title because I was doing all the work, and I always thought this title... And your mother disagreed with the change. <laughs> I always thought this title was rather boring. And I thought when we were colored, a mother's story was more um, evocative. The word colored, for me, is not a pejorative. It's not something bad. It is, for me, evocative of the 1950s. The polite phrase for black folks in those days was color. And so for me, it was a very comforting word. It was a word I was used to. And I thought it was evocative of the era that my mother is writing about, which is about the 1950s. Then the PT sponsors the, those wonderful Meet the Teachers, Know Your School Night. In our system, somebody hit upon a perfectly marvelous idea for the Know Your School pro uh, program. So marvelous that they're using it over and over again, and it's about to wear me to a frazzle. It works like this. The bells are set for 10-minute per periods, and you go from class to class covering your child's daily schedule in about two hours. This is okay if you only have one child and you already know your school, school, so you don't have to find yourself in the furthest bungalow looking for 209, which is on the second floor about two miles away. <laughs> I frequently have at least three schedules to follow, and quite often the period is over before I decide whether to go to Billy's history or past biology or Ginger's geometry. This year, though, I thought I had it made. Bill was at home and we planned. I was to cover some of the classes, and he would cover some, all decided in advance. Bill wanted to go to the classes where somebody was having a little trouble, which seemed to be most of them. I didn't care. I just wanted to go to Ginger's English class, because one day she brought home a paper with an A on it. And I wanted, just wanted just one time to be the teacher, be the mom of the teacher said, she's so smart, too. <laughs> Usually that mama's either right in front or right behind me. <laughs> and I always want to slip out the other the side door before the teacher tells me that mine could do so much better if he, if he would only apply himself or get there on time or do her homework or pay attention. Anyway, as I said, this year we planned and I didn't and I did all right until third period. Then I got a little screwed, screwed up. Now that I think it over, it was just, I couldn't take it. Ginger's English, was more, oh, English class was more than I could ever hope for. Drunk with the praise from the teacher, I walked out of the room dazzled by phrases ringing in my ears. She's an extremely brilliant child. She has a real talent for writing, so well read, the most superb writer I have ever encountered in a sophomore class. I floated right past wherever class I was supposed to go and took a front seat in the French 
teacher thought. She was a charming, vivacious person, really French. Bonjour, bonjour, she chirped. You are? Mrs. Rutland, Pat and Ginger's mother, I said proudly, still a glow from Ginger's English. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. They come fifth period. Well, I'll just wait, said I. And then I did until it, realized, it dawned on me that if I did not belong there, I must belong somewhere else. <laughs> I looked at my nose, and I was supposed to be in room 306, or was it 316? Smiling apologetically, I maneuvered my pet and myself past the interested parents and the now lecturing te French teacher. Room 316 was empty, so I went back to room 306, slipped quietly in, and took my seat. The teacher was lecturing on government. After class, he smiled at me. You are? Mrs. Rutland, Pat and Ginger's mother, I beamed. But I don't have either of them. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's mother, I said hopefully. He shook his head, no. I don't have him either, he said sadly, then brightening. I had Elsie two years ago. <laughs> it must have been 326 I was supposed to go to. I went to the French class and took a seat. No, 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 she said. <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> this is fourth period. <laughs> I went outside and saw Bill standing in the hall. He was methodically jotting down such notes as late three times last week. Missing assignment one, page three. Assignment four, page 25. How are you doing? He asked. Fine, fine, I said, glancing at his schedule. This was my lunch. Next period was French, and next past English and Ginger's biology. The bell rang and Bill moved on. I went to the French class. Now, now, said the teacher, as if complimenting a not very bright student who had just mastered a difficult problem. This is the time. You are right. 